working at sea is very challenging. This means that we are isolated from the real world. That is why part of our responsibility is to ensure all the life-saving appliances are in good working condition. And one of the most important life-saving equipment is the rescue boat, which is part of our safety task is to launch this rescue boat every month. But during testing, we have found out that our main breaker was tripped. This is an air-conditioned room, that's why I need to make a voiceover. As soon as I opened the control panel, I have found out that the control transformer was burnt. So I immediately dismantled the burnt transformer and we will replace it with a new one. Hello guys, so this was found burnt and we need to replace it and good thing we have spare. So this is the spare. And we will install this one but again the same thing that I always do and same thing that I always keep on telling you guys is that there's a reason why that old one got burned so it means there is something wrong with the line it might be causing short circuit and that's what we need to find out right now so I installed back the transformer but I will not connect the wirings because I need to trace first which one is causing short circuit. So we will test the resistance of each pairs without the connections on end to end. After checking, the lines from the output of the transformer going to our main control system is the one that is causing the short circuit. I also measured the line to ground and it is also causing an earth fault. What we did is we measured R11 and T11 which we are getting infinity or open line but on L1 and L2 we are getting short circuit and also from line to ground we are getting an earth fault. So we have problem with L1 and L2. So the next step that we will be doing is to remove F13 and F14 to isolate only these wirings and then we will move further. As soon as I remove the fuses, I have noticed that there are plenty lines connected on the output of the fuses. So I review again the wiring diagram and check what are these wires. So during the review, I have noticed that there is this modification they did onto the electrical motor for Swiss mooring uh, David. And they put additional heater and they connected it to MCL1 and MCH1 at the braking contactor or for the electrical motor and they are, have connected the, the wires to L21 and L11 and this goes all the way to the output of the fuses and those line the line I remove the lines and check this heater because most of the times when we are having earth fault they are all coming from the heater uh, this is the arrangement and to measure they go straight directly here and here and now we will measure the resistance of L21 and this additional one if how much will we get 
Since this is a 220 volt heater, then this 1.6 kilo ohm is too high, so it should be around 50 ohms to 70 ohms only. I also measured the line to ground, which we should be getting an infinity or an open line, but this one is already 365 kilo ohms, which is already causing low insulation. After removing the heater's connection, then I measured again the L1 and L2, which I have found out that it is already a healthy circuit. After installing back the transformer, then I put back all the connections without the heater. In this condition, I know that everything is in healthy state, so I can then power back on the system. As a safety precaution, then we need to close this control panel door before we power on the system. As you can see, the system is not tripping anymore so we need to go outside and check the condition of that heater uh, we have found out that there's a problem with the heater and now we replace the transformer it's working fine now and let's go outside and see the heater it says in the manual that the junction connection can be found on junction box 2 So let's open this box and see what is inside. And voila! I guess this doesn't need any more explanation why our transformer got burnt. Since this is the heater for the motor, then we need to make a requisition for a new electric motor. After powering up the control panel, we were able to test the rescue boat. Actually, even without the power on control panel, the David can still be operated using the accumulator which is being charged all the time. Even without electrical power, we can still launch the rescue boat in case of emergency. So the testing procedure that we are doing, we will swing out the boat first without the crew and launch it so that we can ensure that everyone will be safe. So here's the actual test with the crew on the boat. So after testing the engine and checking that everything is in good order, then we need to pick up again the rescue boat.
that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more eto updates see you on my next video